Hey everyone, welcome to our deep dive exploring AI website builders. These tools are really shaking things up. Yeah, they're making it possible to build a site in minutes. Sometimes even seconds. It's pretty wild. Yeah. So we're going to break down what these platforms actually offer. We're basing this off what different tech experts on YouTube have to say. So you can decide if these AI builders are right for you. And you know what else is really cool? What's that? It used to be that building a website, right. you had to know how to code. For sure. It would take forever. Yeah, months of work. But now you don't need any coding skills. It's amazing, right? With AI, it's super fast and easy. Definitely, and that's a big plus. But but what? You do have to be careful sometimes. You're a little limited in how much you can customize things. Right, so let's jump right in and look at some examples. Sounds good. Some of these builders claim to get a website up and running in just seconds. Seconds? Or minutes. Wow. Sounds a bit too good to be true, right? Yeah, I'm a little skeptical. So we got to see for ourselves. Let's do it. One of the platforms that's been getting a lot of buzz is called Hoku's. Okay, I've heard of that one. Aurelius Tijin is a tech YouTuber, and he did a whole review of it. Oh, cool. And it's actually a pretty interesting approach. How so? So basically, they ask you a few questions to understand what you want the website for, uh -huh. like what features you need, what kind of style you're going for. Okay. And then it generates like a basic website almost instantly. Wow, that's fast. Yeah, it's super fast. So what's the catch? Well, it seems like Hoku's is really great if you're a beginner. Mm -hmm. You want something simple and straightforward. Yeah. But if you need something more complex or if you want to do a lot of custom design work, right. it might not be the best fit. That makes sense. Aurelius mentioned that even though the user interface is really easy to use, mm -hmm. the customization options are kind of limited. Yeah, for some people that could be a deal breaker. Yeah, for sure. So if you're looking for more flexibility, what are some other options out there? Well, let's talk about Hostinger. Sure. They have their own AI website builder. I've heard good things about Hostinger. <laughs> yeah, they're actually a hosting company first. Oh, so they already have the whole infrastructure set up. Exactly, which yeah. is a big advantage. I see. It means your website is going to be built on a really reliable platform. Right. And not only that, their pricing is super competitive. Well, how much are we talking? It starts at like two ninety nine a month. Seriously? I know, it's crazy. And Aurelius even mentioned a discount code in his video. Mm -hmm. To make it even cheaper. Definitely worth checking out. Now, the cool thing about Hostinger is that they use AI for the initial setup to make it really fast. Yeah. But they also give you a lot of control to customize things afterwards. Okay. Like you can drag and drop elements. You can add a blog or even create an online store. Oh, wow. So it's not just for basic landing pages. Exactly. You can do a lot more with it. That's impressive. Plus, they have analytics built in so you can track how your site's performing. That's really important. Yeah, it's really helpful. Sounds like Hostinger is a really strong option. Yeah, it definitely seems to strike a good balance between speed and customization. For sure. Okay, so now let's switch gears a bit. Okay, where are we headed? Let's talk about speed. All right, I like speed. There's a platform called Durable that claims to create a website in just 30 seconds. Wait. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, that's what they say. That sounds like a marketing gimmick. I know, right? Like, how is that even possible? It's hard to imagine, but Aurelius did put it to the test in his review. Well, there are some caveats. I figured. It seems like the editing capabilities are a bit limited. Okay. And if you want to do more customization, you have to create an account. So it's not as simple as they make it sound. Right. You might get a website up in 30 seconds. Uh-huh. But you might end up spending more time tweaking it later. That makes sense. So maybe 30 seconds is a bit of an exaggeration. Probably. But it's still pretty impressive. Yeah. I mean, speed is definitely a factor. Absolutely. So what's next on our list? Let's move on to 10Web. 10Web. I'm not familiar with that one. It's an AI-powered website builder. Okay. But what makes it unique is that it uses WordPress. Oh, interesting. So you get all the power and flexibility of WordPress. Right but with the ease of use of an AI builder. That's a cool combination. Yeah, it's a really interesting approach. Just how does it work? Well, it's kind of similar to the other AI builders we've talked about. Mm -hmm. They ask you a bunch of questions to figure out what you're looking for, mm -hmm. and then they generate a website based on your answers. Okay. But the difference is that 10Web builds the site on a WordPress backend. Right. So you have a lot more control over things. Yeah, WordPress is great for that. And you can choose your design style and tone of voice. So it's not just a cookie cutter website. Exactly. You can make it your own. Nice. Now, the one thing to keep in mind with 10Web is that it's a paid subscription. Okay. So it's not free like some of the other options. How much does it cost? I'm not sure by the exact pricing. Okay. But they do have a seven-day trial, so you can try it out before you commit. That's good to know. Yeah, definitely worth checking out. Sounds like it. 
All right, so for our final platform today. Okay, bring it on. Let's talk about Mixo. Mixo, what's that one all about? This one is all about speed and simplicity. I like the sound of that. They really target startups with this one. Interesting. And they even help you come up with a brand name. Really? Yeah, which is pretty cool. That's pretty unique. It is. So how fast are we talking? They claim to get you up and running really quickly. Okay. Like crazy quickly. Gotta love that. Yeah. And another interesting thing about Mixo is that they really emphasize email list building. Oh, that's smart. Right. Because yeah. it's so important for businesses to connect with their audience. For sure. But there is a trade-off here. There's always a trade-off. Because they focus so much on speed and simplicity. Yeah. You don't get as much customization as with some of the other platforms. I see. So it's probably best for landing pages and simple websites. Makes sense. If you need something super complex or if you need e-commerce integration, right. it might not be the best choice. Okay, so we've covered five different AI website builders now. You have. Each with its own pros and cons. Right, so it's all about finding the one that best fits your needs. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. But before we jump into some other platforms and considerations, okay, let's take a quick break. Sounds good. All right, so we've seen some of the AI-powered builders now. Yeah. But there are also a bunch of other website builders out yep. there. The ones that have been around for a while. Yeah, like GoDaddy, Squarespace, Wix, Webflow. All the big names. And they offer some different advantages. Definitely. So let's start with GoDaddy. Okay, good place to start. Medix Media is another YouTube channel that focuses on web development. Oh yeah, I've seen their videos. And they really like GoDaddy. What do they like about it? They say it's really user-friendly, uh, like an all-in-one solution. Easy to use. Yeah. And they specifically mention how GoDaddy handles hosting. Right. And that they have customizable themes. That's important. And they even offer extra features like email marketing and e-commerce tools. Wow. So it's pretty comprehensive. Yeah, it is. But is it flexible? Well, that's the thing. What? While GoDaddy is super easy to use, mm -hmm. it's not as flexible as some of the drag and drop builders we talked about. Yeah, oh, I see. Like you're kind of limited in terms of where you can place elements on the page. So you can't just drag things wherever you want. Right. It's a bit more structured. Okay, that makes sense. So if you're someone who really wants complete control over the design, uh -huh. GoDaddy might not be the best fit. But for beginners, it sounds like a good option. Definitely. So what about Squarespace? Squarespace is a really popular option. Yeah. I've heard good things. Medix Media highlighted their Fluid Engine. Fluid Engine? Yeah, it's their drag and drop builder. Okay. And it gives you a lot more freedom to design your site. So you can put things wherever you want. Pretty much. Yeah. Nice. Right. And Squarespace is also known for their beautiful templates. Right. They have really good designs. They're super professional looking. Yeah. And they have really good blogging features too. So if you want to create content... Squarespace is a great option. That's cool. And I think they also let you host a podcast directly on your site. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's a pretty cool feature. Now, Wix is another platform that's often compared to Squarespace. Oh, yeah, I've heard of Wix. So where does it fit in? Well, Wix is known for having a ton of customization options. A ton. Yeah, like a massive app marketplace. Right. Medix Media said they give you granular control over the design. So you can really fine-tune everything. Exactly. Like you can position the elements exactly where you want them. Wow. That sounds pretty powerful. It is, yeah, but like, it can also be a bit overwhelming. Especially for beginners. Yeah. If you're not careful, you can easily mess things up. Too many options. Exactly. So Wix is probably better for people who are a bit more comfortable with web design. Or who are willing to learn. Yeah. For sure. So we've talked about GoDaddy, Squarespace, Wix. Mm -hmm. What about Webflow? Ah, Webflow. I've heard that one's really good for designers. It is. Medix Media called it the go-to platform for designers and developers. Okay. Who want to create highly customized, visually stunning websites. Sounds impressive. Yeah, they said Webflow gives you even more control over design elements than Wix. Wow, even more. You can create pixel-perfect layouts and do all sorts of cool animations. So if you want a website that looks super professional... Webflow is the way to go. But it probably has a steeper learning curve. Yeah, you got to be willing to invest some time in learning how to use it. For sure. Okay, now let's talk about a platform that's in a league of its own. Okay, which one? Shopify. Ah, Shopify the e-commerce giant? If you want to sell products online, mm -hmm. 
Medix Media was very clear. Shopify is the way to go. Makes sense. They said it's the best platform for e-commerce. Yeah, they have all the features you need. They have inventory management, integrated payment processing, a huge app store. It's like the whole package. And they even mentioned that Shopify has partnered with Gem Pages. Gem Pages, what's that? It's a drag and drop builder that works within Shopify. Oh, so you can customize your Shopify store even more. Exactly, it gives you more design control. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a really smart move by Shopify. Definitely. Okay, so we've talked about some of the more traditional website builders now. Mm -hmm. Let's circle back to the world of AI and WordPress. Okay. I'm intrigued. Where No Code is another great YouTube channel for web dev stuff. Yeah, I've seen their videos. And they showed a really cool way to combine AI and WordPress. How so? They used an AI tool called Reloom. Reloom, never heard of it. It generates website wireframes. Wireframes. Yeah, yeah. Like a blueprint for your website. Okay. And it does it in seconds. In seconds? Yeah, it's crazy fast. Wow, AI is really changing the game. I know, right? So it creates the wireframe and then what? Then they exported it into Webflow. Oh, so they used Webflow to build the actual website. Yeah, it was really seamless. That's pretty slick. So you can use AI to do the initial planning uh -huh. and then use a powerful platform like Webflow to build it out. That's a really interesting workflow. Yeah, it's super efficient. Now, this is all very cool and interesting. But how does it apply to me? <laughs> That's the question, right? Well, Jesse Showalter, another tech YouTuber. Yeah. He had a really interesting take on this. What did he say? He said that AI website builders could be a game changer for freelancers. Freelancers? Yeah, or anyone who wants to offer web design services. I see. Because you can create websites so much faster now. Uh-huh. You can take on more clients, charge higher rates. And make more money? Exactly. That's a really good point. It's like a superpower for your business. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So we've covered a lot of ground today. We have. Explored all sorts of website builders. AI-powered, traditional, you name it. But there's one more thing we need to talk about. What's that? Hosting. Ah, hosting the foundation of every website. It's where your website lives. On the internet. Exactly. And choosing the right hosting provider is super important. For sure. It affects your website's speed, security, reliability. All the important stuff. When I first started building websites, I was so overwhelmed by all the hosting options. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot out there. It's like a whole other world. It can be intimidating. But luckily, <laughs> a lot of website builders like GoDaddy and Squarespace, mm. they offer hosting as part of their package. So you don't have to worry about it. Exactly. It's one less thing to think about. Especially for beginners. Right. But if you're using WordPress, mm -hmm. you need to choose a separate hosting provider. And that's where Hostinger comes in. Ah, Hostinger again. They're a hosting company, first and foremost. Right. And they have excellent hosting plans, specifically for WordPress websites. So they know what they're doing. They do. And they're affordable. Very affordable. Reliable. Yeah, and super reliable. And they have good customer support. The okay. best. So, yeah, if you're going with WordPress, uh, Hostinger is a great option. Okay. Good to know. But no matter what platform you choose, right. do your research and find the hosting that's right for you. Absolutely. Compare different options, read reviews, ask questions. Don't be afraid to reach out to customer support. Yeah, they're there to help. Choosing the right hosting is an investment in your website. It's the foundation of your online presence. Exactly. So don't skimp on it. <gasps> Okay, so we're back for the final part of our deep dive. We've covered a lot of ground today. We have AI website builders, traditional builders hosting. It's been quite a journey. It has. And you know what's crazy? What's that? The world of web development is always changing. Yeah, it's constantly evolving. So how do we keep up? That's the million dollar question. Right, because what's cutting edge today mm -hmm. might be old news tomorrow. That's so true. So as website creators, as business owners, right? how do we stay ahead of the curve? Well, I think the most important thing is to stay curious. Curious. Yeah, keep learning. Keep experimenting. Makes sense. And don't be afraid to try new things. Right, because that's how you discover what works. Exactly. And you also got to think critically. About? About how these new tools can actually be used. In real world situations. Right, not just in theory. So for our listeners out there. The people who are actually building websites. Yeah, the ones who are trying to figure out what's best for them. Right. What advice would you give them? Well, I would say the best website builder for you mm -hmm. depends entirely on your goals. Your needs, your budget. Exactly. Right. There's no one-size-fits-all solution. So before you even start looking at platforms, uh -huh. you got to ask yourself some questions. Like, what kind of website do you want to create? A blog, an online store, a portfolio. A landing page. 
uh, membership site. Right. There are so many possibilities. And then what features are essential for you? Do you need e-commerce integration? Do you need a blog? Do you need a contact form? Right. Figure out what you absolutely need. And then you can start narrowing down the options. So don't get caught up in trying to find the best website builder overall. Yeah, because there's no such thing. Find the one that best fits your specific needs. And your budget. Exactly. Now remember Jesse Showalter's video. The one about AI website builders? Yeah, he talked about how these tools could be a game changer. For freelancers and web designers. Right, because you can create websites so much faster now. And potentially make a lot more money. So it got us thinking. What about it? Could you use these AI tools? To create websites for clients. Yeah, and maybe even start your own web design business. That's a really interesting idea. It is. We're not saying everyone should become a web designer, but it's definitely something to consider. Especially with how accessible these tools are now. You don't even need to be a coding expert anymore. Anyone can create a beautiful website. It's pretty amazing. It is. So as we wrap up this deep dive, mm. we want to leave you with a sense of excitement. And empower it. Because you have the power to create something amazing. The power to build your own online presence. And it's easier than ever before. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. So go out there, explore these tools, experiment, have fun. And see what you can create. That's right. The possibilities are endless. Happy building, everyone. Until next time.